Good evening, Mexican enjoyers. I hope you're right. Cause it's time for the abnormal borders. Yes, we have one, two, three. Uh, we got four. No, 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 no. We only got three. That's it. We've only got three. Whoops. <laughs> we have three abnormal skins to chase after today. They're going to be appearing in two hours' time in the Rust Steam market. And basically, we're going to go ahead and try and figure out prices what we might want to offer for them because we need to figure out what might be a good price in which we could buy them but still potentially sell them for a decent profit in the future. Does that make sense to all of you? Now, you're probably sitting there wondering, Hitch, what's an abnormal, what's an abnormal skin? What are you talking about? Well... If you were to look at the description right now of this video that you're watching, oh wow, uh, look at the description, there will be two videos provided. The first video is a 60 second short video explaining everything quite briefly. Uh, it goes over all the details, what happens, when they appear and whatnot. But if that's not helpful enough for you, if you want to go a little bit more in depth, could you please consider watching the second video? It's about 20 minutes long, but like I said, it goes much more in depth. It helps you understand and how to identify what abnormal skins are, and it also explains you the times when they are going to appear. Because if you are one of the first people to put down a buy order on a brand new skin on the Steam market, at some point down the line, you could potentially buy these skins for a much cheaper price. And therefore, if you sell them for the correct price, you're going to walk away with some sweet, delicious looking profit. That's the whole point of this. We're trying to make some sweet, delicious profit. So what we're going to, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go and try and figure out Decent prices to offer for these free skins. We're going to break all the context that we can. We're going to go over all the details, both positive and negative, and we're going to deduce what might be a good price to offer for them. And then after that, we have our regular skins. These five skins here, they only become marketable when the Rust Store rotates tomorrow, and tomorrow being potentially an Easter Rust Store. Probably will be at an Easter Rust Store. So yes, we're going to go figure, those, figure out those prices afterwards, but let's jump in. Let's now focus and figure out what price might we want to offer for the Blackberry Furnace? Let's go. Okay, seven days in, and as you can see, we're just at about 14,500 sales. By tomorrow, I reckon we're going to be about 15,000 bare minimum sales. That has not sold a crazy amount, but let's just consider this. This just so happens to have a very nice, colourful interior. And we've seen this in the past, we've discussed this in the past. Last year, we had three different coloured interior, interior furnaces. Two of them worked out all right, one of them not so much. Let's just quickly go over this. Basically, there is a bit of a trend with furnaces where if you have a different coloured interior for a furnace, they tend to perform a fair bit better. As we go over to here and look at the highest priced skins, you'll see that we have the likes of Toxic Furnace with the likes of Ghostly Flame Furnace, Abyss Furnace, Blackberry's right here. And then we've got the likes of Neon Vibes, which, you know, was accepted not too long ago. Over down here a little bit, we do have Tribe Furnace. That seems to be dipping in price a fair bit. Bit awkward. And then, of course, last year we had Halloween time. We had the Spider Cocoon Furnace. Now, this did a ridiculous amount of sales, 30,000. Unfortunately, it kind of went down pretty bad. However, I will point this out. There's only 65 of, the, 65 of these in the Steam market. Oh, no, 62. So maybe that could have a bit of a rebound as we slowly approach the summertime we shall see anyway that just do that does prove that bad things can happen but that did double the amount of sales that this has done so this in the current moment doesn't seem so bad in terms of its sales i get the feeling it might work out quite all right now i should also point out if you haven't noticed if you have been keeping track with the likes of all the new skins that have appeared on the likes of the rust steam market uh, workshop workshop we have got a continuation right here. We have both a non-glow and a glowing Blackberry Rock. So Hesiam is doubling down. He wants to make more skins for this collection. I'm not sure where it could go from here. Maybe we'll get some doors. Maybe we'll get a large box or something. Who knows? But it's getting worked on. We're getting more skins. This is building up to being a collection. That's nice. And that does support the likes of the furnace. I don't think a rock's going to magically cause the furnace to go up even higher. But at the very least, if it does develop into some sort of collection all the better for the likes of that furnace right there i would lean into the idea of i would prefer some deplorables from here and now but it's up to him maybe he has a newer skin creator maybe he's not fully confident he can do certain other things fair enough i'm not going to complain but at the very least he wants to do that all right so that's a bit optimistic for the future that's looking nice that's looking pretty but now chat i have to sit here and ask you what do you prefer what 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 what, what, what do you reckon because whilst that might seem very nice and very interesting right about now, as I have pointed out last year when we had the likes of the Halloween Spider Cocoon Furnace, things didn't exactly go super great. So if we could just scroll down over to here, that was October time. And October time wasn't exactly a great time for Ruskins. The Autumn Fall seasonal dip was fully in place and it just crashed and 
burned and that didn't go very well but a little bit later down the line of course we had the neon vibes furnace around december time when skins were doing a fair bit better and since then it's been doing totally fine now i should also point out this is actually part of a collection so if i could just quickly showcase all of that in a bit so right now only 59 quantity in steam market three three dollars 26 and it's sold for two dollars 49 perfectly fine that's a good looking skin very nice and shiny pink interior if i could just also point this out as well neon vibes we have, what, four skins in total? There could be more later down the line, we'll see. But yeah, we've got likes of a furnace, garage door, armored door, and sheet metal door. And they're selling quite nicely. Their prices are fairly okay. That's a comfy looking set. I do hope to see some more of it in the future. But the main point is, it's part of a collection, and they do complement each other. So, could we see something nice potentially building up for Blackberry? We are seeing signs of it, but we don't know if they're definitely going to be accepted. So, what do you reckon, chat? Are you feeling optimistic? Do you like it? Are you a fan of it? Let's go get a good look at it one more time. So I'm questioning things. Right now, we're kind of going through a bit of a bad time with the likes of the Easter dip. And the problem of the stickers, which is something I've been bringing up for a very long time, hasn't really come into effect yet because the stickers for the Copenhagen 2024 uh, major have still not yet been released. So awkward. It could get worse. That's the main thing I'm trying to get across. So, yeah. Um, we haven't had ridiculous sales. It's a nice looking furnace. It's a fruit. <laughs> um, and yes, a lot of people were asking me, Hedge, what does the juicy effect mean? It's nothing. It's a joke. It's just some written text. All right. It's nothing. Don't worry. Don't worry. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> um I am conflicted. I feel like a $1 biodra is a totally fine thing to do, but do I want to be more aggressive? Do I want to push it higher? Do I want to go close to the $2 price? Personally, I worry that maybe quite a lot of these might get thrown onto the Steam market. That can lead to prices going down, especially with the current, you know, the current situation. So uh, oh, how are things in regards to the player count? Not exactly super great. However, with Easter rolling out tomorrow, maybe things will improve. We shall see. Does everybody want to run around and collect some X? I don't know. I don't think that's going to be a very big impact, but it would probably have a bit of interest initially. And we are having some interesting things potentially on the horizon for the likes of the April Force Wipe. Uh, new items potentially being added. A gal. I'm not sure what a gal is. It's either some sort of Chinese longsword or some sort of weapons testing thing there's also the welly pets hat it looks like we might be getting something to accompany our frog boots because i can't think of anything else that's to do with wellington boots the frog boots are wellington boots and then we got the likes of the uh, changes to harbor very likely being introduced properly for april force white potentially so there's some interesting things on the horizon that i think a lot of curious people will be wanting to chase uh, you know jump into looks like we're getting some sort of special video being prepared for tomorrow's easter 2024 a release so <clears throat> i'm conflicted will the interest in this instantly disappear well we're very likely going to see more furnaces aren't we oh it's conflicting um i think i'm probably gonna do i think i'm probably gonna do one dollar to one dollar fifty I think it's reasonable enough that it's going to do okay. I think it'll do better than most furnaces. How have the recent furnaces performed? And the answer is, and I'm talking about the ones that came out this year. Well, that's not looking super pretty, is it? Oh, down 73, down 74, down 7. That did better than expectations. I will give it that. Hmm. That did sell less than that. Hmm. Problems. But this is unique. Yeah, to a point. I reckon I'm going to do $1 to $1.50. I feel like that's reasonable enough. And if I do end up, you know, picking up a whole bunch of them at $1.50, I'll just remove it and I'll happily buy them at $1 if it gets to that point. It's a matter of, will people appreciate it around the summertime? Because our expectation is, as whilst we're seeing player counts going down at the moment, once we reach around summertime, we'll probably see some big, big, big increases in player count. Summer sale probably help out things as well. We shall see. The idea is... More people playing leads to more people wanting skins. Would they want the Blackberry furnace? We shall see. And maybe by then we'll probably have more Blackberry skins, such as doors and you know, deplorables and whatnot. We've got to keep an eye on it. But I feel like $1 to $1.50 seems okay. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Does that sound all right then, chat? Shall we move on? Let's go do so. Clan-based garage door. 
So someone asked me earlier, quite literally, Hedge, what's your thoughts in regards to the clan-based garage door? And my answer is, well, with the appearance of this appearing literally just a week after the likes of the blocky rig garage door, that's done this no favours. Down 25%. Not very good. But this also did 30,000 sales, whereas this has only done about... Do -do 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 -do, just under 14,000 bare minimum sales. So that seems to be in a better position. But why did I bring up blocky rig garage door? Because we have Easter tomorrow. Have you been keeping track of all the Easter skins that are submitted? Well, let's go take a look at all of them. Gentlemen, we have 130 Easter skins that are submitted for tomorrow's Easter Rust store and potentially next week if we do have two weeks of Easter. How many of these skins do you reckon were deplorables? I will sit here and confirm to you out of 130 skins, about 80 plus of them are deplorables. But more specifically, how many of them were garage doors? Well, let's just go through all that. Alright, okay, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 11, 11. There's about 19 skins to pick from there. Three of them are alternates, so I guess we could put that down to about 16. There's a lot of garage doors potentially up for grabs for being picked tomorrow, alright? I wouldn't be surprised if one of them gets picked. Could we see a situation like Blocky Rig with this another garage door instantly accepted after the likes of clan based garage door where we could see clan based garage door suffering because of that? But I will point this out as well. It's Easter and I don't think people care too much about Easter and the very second Easter's over, I don't think people are still going to care about Easter. Well, and, you know, unless you get an anime girl, then, you know, that's different. You know, people are going to people are going to buy her and they're going to love her. I don't know which one will get picked, but <laughs> either way, um, I, I'm a bit conflicted in this one as well. I'm sure you can tell. And I'm just conflicted with garage doors in general. So... <sighs> How many garage doors did we have accepted last year? 28. And the year before that, 28. We are getting a lot of garage doors. We are getting a lot of garage doors. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And it's becoming a problem because it's not just skins in the rust doors. It's also twitch drops. And so far this year, we haven't had... Uh, well, we had the ones at the very beginning of the year for, with Trust and Rust. But I don't know if there's anything on the horizon for more twitch drops, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um... I don't know if we're going to have another Twitch Rivals for May time. Remember last year we did have that. I'm not sure if there's going to be like regular Twitch drops, like random uh, content creators being handpicked out where they get to have a Twitch drop and whatnot. I don't know if anything like that's on the horizon. But I will sit here and say, wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if we do see some more Twitch uh, drop garage doors. I mean, like, they're probably, like, the best thing to showcase your face because so, 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 so many Rust content creators love to stick their face right in front of a garage door with their logo and whatnot. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, either way, I'm looking at that. It's a $3 skin. Will it retain that price? Don't think so. It's a cool-looking garage door. Probably one of the best, most interesting, unique designs. I like it. I respect it. But I don't think it's going to hold, especially with the likes of the stickers potentially coming out fairly soon. Will it have a ton of stock on the Steam market? Probably. I mean, you know, if everybody wants to sell them, you could easily have 15,000 on the Steam market. Oh, oh. but um, I don't imagine it's going to have as many as the blocky rig garage door. I do expect more garage doors to appear this year. And much like last year, how we did have some very interesting garage doors earlier in the year. So if I scroll down right now to last year. You know, last year we had a bit garage door, but at some point, you know, a little short while later, we had Monuments Glass garage door. Then Corolla had an awesome looking Twitch drop. Then we had the Porcelain garage door. Then we had the likes of Dust garage door, the Charity garage door. We had an Altar Altar garage door. We had Grim garage garage door. We had the cute witch for Halloween, Neon vibes. There's loads, and there will be plenty of potential interesting garage door skins in the future. So whilst this might look pretty cool right now, you just wait. And remember, last week, we thought that looked really cool. And then that appeared. So I'm looking at that. And realistically speaking, I feel like I want to play it safe. I think we could do $1.20 to $1.80. Will it go below its trust or price? I feel confident in that. How low will it go? I'm not 100% sure. But I feel like I'm just going to do $1.20 to $1.80. I'm going to go close to $2. I think it will probably reach to around $2 at some point. But, you know. It's up to you how you go about it. If you feel confident in it, if you think 14,000 sales so far, about 15,000 sales tomorrow, that's too low. Surely it won't be too bad. By all means, offer a higher price. Be more aggressive. 
but I am not wanting to have a whole bunch of these unloaded onto me later down the line. So with that, I think I'm just going to stick with the idea of only doing about 1.20, 1.80. Sounds good? Let's move on. Chameleon Python. This is the first Python skin to be accepted this year. Can we confirm that? Yes, indeed. And I will give it to Mr. Milho Frito. This is a lot more shinier and interesting compared to some of the revolvers, uh, the Pythons that we had last year. So I've got to give some credit. Stands out quite nicely. It is part of a well-established collection. Chameleon collection at the moment, though, not exactly doing super amazing. However, I will just point this out. These still have fairly low quantities. It takes a few sales and suddenly they're back up to their rust or price. Come on, work for me, work for me, work for me, please, please, thank you. So yes, there's only a 62 quantity, for example. If it does a few sales, suddenly it's back up to $2.49, the price it's sold for. So if you're sitting there saying, oh, it's doomed, it's horrible. I mean, it's just a few stragglers and then, you know, job done, it's back up to the price it's sold for. So when you see these in the red, put a little bit of effort in and actually double check and see what the listings are like on the Steam market. So... Loads of skins right here. I know at some point Mr. Milho Frito does plan to do deplorables and clothing and armour. It's a matter of when rather than if, trust me. So, later down the line, could that potentially work out quite nicely? Well, I can't really sit here and wait forever. I have to be a bit more realistic. I am not super confident. I am reasonably confident. But I don't think I'll be going super close to $2.49. Much like with the garage door, I think I'm going to do $1.20 to $1.80. I think it's going to do better compared to the other Pythons. It's just, I don't think we're going to see anything major helping this out until we potentially start seeing all of those other types of chameleon skins being produced. And trust me when I sit here and say, I know it's coming. Mr. Milho Frito is very, very successful in making full proper collections. Just take a look at his history real quickly, and you might notice some many skins that he's been producing in the past. Twitch drops as well, I should point out. So, yeah, he's made some very interesting skins, and, of course, you might notice Tempered Collection, and, of course, various other silly designs, Gingerbread, for example. So, I'm optimistic for it, but I don't think it's going to happen in the short term. So being realistic about it, I'm not going to go super close to the rust or price. I can imagine it will be going below its rust or price, but with only 10,000 plus sales, just about, I don't imagine it's going to be doomed. I just think it might take a while for it to really get somewhere. So being a bit slower and realistic with it, I'm going to approach it with a fairly lower price. I feel like that's the smarter way to go about this. And of course, you know, as I said, with the likes of the Copenhagen stickers, it could get so much worse. So that was all the abnormals. I've discussed all of those. Now we have the regular skins to go through. Let's go do that. Top selling skin this week, Mr. Sadist's Oil Spill MP5. It seems people do appreciate this design. Now if I go to his most recent skin, what do we see? Oh, it's a carrot wall pipe. Looks like he was one of the people that actually listened and didn't make a skin this week. Props to you, Mr. Sadist. But yes, I am confident he will be making more oil spill skins. So that's something to be optimistic about in the future. But I have to sit here and say, am I optimistic for an MP5 skin? This is a problem more about the weapon itself rather than the skin. Whilst it looks cool and fairly unique compared to most other skins, I do have to sit here and say I am still a fair bit worried. Now, what's the problem? Well, I still believe the MP5 isn't exactly doing super great in terms of the demand, because when I look at the demand for the skins itself, I'm not seeing the demand. <laughs> now, again, you might, you might also point out that we've had some very interesting Twitch drops. Fair enough. Because, of course, not too long ago, we did have the likes of h Junes, very useful, very interesting, Sightless MP5. So you might be sitting there and saying, well, damn, that's awesome. I don't need to buy a skin now. Probably. That might be the case for a lot of people. And that came out recently for free. And looking at all of these from the past couple years, and they're not doing very nicely, are they? Now, again, in general, most skins are suffering with the Easter dip. Understood. But the fact that the vast majority of MP MP5s are like this... It's not a good it's not a good sight. And of course, very recently we had the likes of the Apocalypse Nomad. Yeah, good look at that now. You know, we just sat here and talked about this about a month ago. We were reasonably optimistic for it. Now it's down to a dollar fifty. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Look at that. Ooh. So that's unfortunate. And it had a very useful, interesting aim sight, didn't it? As we look over to here. So that don't get any that it's not making me any more optimistic, is it? No. No. So I'm looking at this MP5 and I'm thinking, 
whilst it was appreciated and people liked it and they very likely will be wanting some more oil spill skins that's very likely only going to develop into being a uh, weapon only collection which tends to not work out very well unfortunately even like the chameleon collection eventually succumbed to that so i'm thinking i might just do a dollar but i'll be honest with you i could i <laughs> hmm. i think we could probably do 90 cents to one dollar 30. I think it has a reasonable enough interest that it's going to probably do a little bit better. But I'm still not super great. Like, uh, I'm, 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 I'm not like... Actually, no, I'll be honest with you, I'll probably do 80 cents to $1.10. Yeah, I'll do 80 cents to $1.10. I can still see in it going pretty down low. But, um, yeah, 80 cents to $1.10. If we do keep getting more skins, maybe people will be appreciating it more, but we'll have to wait and see. So... Yeah. So to say, Mr. Sadis, but yeah, it's the MP5 rather than the skin itself. Don't make a revolver too quickly. I'm worried about that. <laughs> We're getting quite a lot of revolver skins being submitted. So in regards to that, we'll, we'll wait and see what happens next, but we won't be seeing any more oil spill skins for a while because we do have Easter on the way. Right. Skull Force AK-47. So we have seen more continuations for the Skull Force collection. We just saw some burlap clothing. Very nice. Very interesting. I do look forward to that. But I don't think that's going to have a magical uh, boost for the likes of the AK-47 or the SAR. It will have a boost on the likes of the other primitive skins. But yeah. Um, Skull Force AR. How many AKs have we had accepted so far over the past, what, like, year? So how many weeks are we into this year so far? Let's say 10 for when this Rust Door came out. And what do we see? Oh, yeah, you know, 10 AK-47s. An AK every single week. Cool! <laughs> Not cool. Not cool. Um. So, yeah, we've got a bit of a problem there. Uh. So, uh, w w what do we do? What do we think? What do we say? I am not feeling optimistic for the AK, I'm afraid to say. That very much will be a 60 cent to 80 cent buy order. Yes, we've gone lower in price now because there's, the price of metal has gone down. We are down to 60 cents to 80 cents. I'm very, you know, I'm sorry to say, but the fact that we just had six AK-47s being accepted in a row for the past six weeks, I just can't see this holding up quite nicely. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, yeah. And then we've got the sheet metal door right here. Guys... I mean, look, cool design. I don't think people are going to be clinging on to that forever, I'm afraid, though. And looking at all the previous sheet metal doors that came out so far this year, much like the AK-47, we've had quite a lot. How much do you say? Well, uh, ten, uh, nine. Nine. So I thought it was ten. Well, anyway, um, they're not doing very well, unfortunately. Sheet metal doors, much like AK-47s, we have far too many to choose from. And I can't help but feel like that's going to end up exactly like this. 55 cents. I, well, I'm sorry to say, 40 cents to 50 cents, maybe lower. It's up to you, but I don't think I'll even bother chasing after that one. Sorry. And then we got the likes of stone tools, inflatable stone tools. Inflatable collection, how are you doing right now? Ooh, okay. So, uh, stone tools, how are you doing right now? And, uh, ooh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, stone tools aren't exactly doing super great. I'm very sorry to say, but this also looks to be a 60 cent to 80 cent builder as well. They have not sold that much, just under 6,000 sales. But I'm very sorry to say, just take a look at it all. Take it all in. What do you see? It, it, oh, no, it lagged. Why have you lagged? SCMM, wake up. No, oh, there you go. <laughs> all right, can you load up properly now? Can you load up properly now, please? Oh, it's just taking its time. There we go. All right, so, yeah, same thing on the pickaxes. People don't appreciate them. They don't retain their value. They don't do good. It's very unfortunate, but it is what it is. So, inflatable collection doesn't seem to be in demand. Stone tools, skins don't seem to be in demand. I don't think these are going to hold. 60 cents to 80 cents. Could it be manipulated? Well... With very low sales of just under 6,000 bare minimum sales, yes, it could. That could definitely be, be manipulated at some point in the future. But the thing is, though, and I will just point this out, all of these tools here, stone tools, they've all done very low sales. I haven't seen anybody pumping these up. So you could sit there and say, oh, but Hedge, maybe they could be pumped up. All of those could have been pumped up, and that didn't happen. So, yeah, I am not exactly, uh, not exactly optimistic that something like that could happen either. And that's it. That's everything. You know, we went through all the skins. We discussed prices. We discussed problems, positives. But that's it. All we can really do now is wait until the uh, Rust Door rotates tomorrow. And as I've already mentioned, we're going to have... Not you. Go away. <laughs> Easter, skin, no, uh, Easter skins. Yes. So, let me point this out to you. 130 skins. We counted this earlier. 
So in total, we have 130 skins. Out of all the clothing and armor, all right, we only have about 20 clothing and armor skins. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So I feel optimistic that we could potentially see the likes of con the continuation for the Easter chocolate hoodie and pants here. Uh, if you don't remember, we had tier two being accepted like two years ago. We could potentially see burlap clothing being accepted. Last year, we had the boonie hat and the bandana for sweet treat. So I'm optimistic that we could see some continuations. That'd be nice. And you know what? Maybe we'll see some other skins like, oh, maybe we'll get the Easter bunny hide shoes. Cute. I think it's got a decent chance. Maybe we might get some of this armor. Who knows? We shall see. But the vast majority of skins that were submitted were deplorables. Earlier, I made a big fuss talking about how there's 16 to 19 uh, garage door skins being submitted. I'm not joking. <laughs> the vast majority of skins are, in fact, deplorables. And when it comes to the likes of weapons and tools, there's only like 27. So if you counted all of these up, you're only going to go up to about 27. There are alternates, so there's probably like 24 unique skins. But yeah, start guessing. If you were to start guessing, you probably only want to look at the likes of the clothing and armor and the weapons and tools. I wouldn't even bother guessing with the likes of deplorables because there's so much to pick from. It's, it's a guessing game at best. So um, yeah, yeah, good look at all of that. Because I feel like you're going to see a fairly decent amount of weapons and tools and clothing and armor for these potential next two rust doors. But it's a complete guessing game out of all of these deplorables here. Absolute madness. So, Easter smells. Well, yeah, we have to point that out. Holiday theme skins do not tend to do very nicely in terms of investment. So, I definitely will very likely just be saving my money. I probably won't even bother doing any buy orders. I'm not going to be going at this like super hectic or crazy. I'm not like thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to make a great profit out of this. And do you want me to show you something? So you know how we're very close to Easter? You know, you might sit there and say, oh, surely people are anticipating uh, Easter time. Loads of people are going to be buying out skins and, and they're going to enjoy themselves and it's going to be super great. Uh oh. Yeah. So, yeah, they held their value, didn't they? Or about week two? No. No. The real question is, is are we going to see the return of the egg suit selling for $10 in the Rust store? Will we potentially see Rustache egg being brought back? I don't know. Will we see the likes of the bunny hat and the nest hat potentially being added? Or not? If they're not, technically speaking, I think they're discontinued because they were not introduced last year. And of course, I'm sure many of you are aware, we do have the likes of the chicken costume that's going to be appearing. What will that sell for? I have no idea, but here it is. Comes in three different variants. Technically, technically speaking, they are wooden pants skins, but yeah, it's an item. I don't know. Do you reckon that'd be $10 as well? I reckon it'll probably be like 5 or 6 I reckon it'll be 5 or 6 But could we see something else? I think I mentioned this earlier. I'll say it again. We have been seeing mentions of the likes of some welly hats. Welly pets, that's it, right there. I am led to believe this is a continuation or something to uh, follow up the frog boots that are given away to everyone who bought Rust before the uh, early access, you know, when it came out of early access. And, you know, there's nothing else relating to Wellington boots other than the frog boots. So I think we're going to get some sort of goofy little frog hat. Would that be for Easter? We don't know. But it looks like this might be ready. But there's been no mention of the item here. Like, there's no Welly Pets hat. It would have appeared by now if it was going to come out for Easter. So, yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe it's for some sort of special event. Maybe it's for some sort of special promotion. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll find out. I, I I thought maybe it might be for a five year anniversary. It's already happened. I think it would be a six year anniversary this year. I don't think they're going to care about that. <laughs> um, no, 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 nothing. No sort of special anniversary or anything right about now. So I got no idea. I have absolutely zero clue, none whatsoever. So uh, what's the what's the front page looking like right now? I see Bonebreakers just finished its uh, pump. And, uh, well, it's usual suspects and whatnot. Oh, Kelp Rock. Oh, okay, that's new. So, yeah, that's it then, guys. Looks like we're all said, you know, everything's all been said and done. All we can do now is skip ahead. So that's what we'll do. Let's skip ahead right now, and then we'll, of course, look at the bar to support afterwards and question if we actually want to jump in and buy some. So, that. Yeah. Right then, people, here we go. I'm going to be chasing after the Blackberry Furnace first, and of course, we'll be chasing after the other skins. It is now midnight, and do we have botted buy orders? The answer is, I don't know yet. And, well, come on, show yourself, please. 
Oh, we got that there. What was that? It was the platform. We go grab the platform. Danker. Uh, oh, no. No. Uh oh. <laughs> Where's the furnace? Oh, no. Don't start playing games with me. No, 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 no. Well, that's already got 6,000 bilders, so that seems botted. Duh, duh, duh. Yep. Yep. No. Yep. No. Come on now. What's going on? See, I don't want to leave this now because if I go to a second barge on the pipe and I know this furnace will appear. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't wrong. Right, let's go set up the uh, second buy order. Over here. Yep. And it's now not appearing again. Come on. Right, okay, let's go see how that's all listed out. Okay. Uh, I could do 40. Chameleon Python. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah, that's legit. Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely legit. Um, 5,855 boulders put down by a perfectly legitimate real person. Oh, yes. Um, wow. I would have thought more people would have been involved in this. Apparently not. Uh, go on and I'll put down 40. We'll see what happens there. And if I quickly hop out of here and go to this builder, we have the clan base garage door. This has only 700 builders, which seems reasonable. I can't complain about that. I'm going to go put down this price. And over to here again with the second price. Um, well, it's pushing up to a dollar, uh, one pound eighty, which is about two dollars thirty. So no one's put down a significant buy order around one dollar fifty. So I'll go take that for myself. It's open season and chat's too scared to do anything. Not my problem. Yoink. I'll take it then. Thank you very much, chat. So that's that. Uh, pretty straightforward. So what we'll do is we'll wait a good 10-15 minutes. We'll come back to this. Look at the bar to support and we'll discuss how things potentially might be in regards to do we actually want to jump in and buy some. So with that, Right, people, we're back. I know I said about 15 minutes. Well, we've got 38 instead. Oops, we're talking too much. We're discussing the Easter skins potentially for tomorrow. But for now, we need to talk about the likes of these abnormal skins. So what does the support look like for them? And I can confirm, Blackberry Furnace has only a 1,000 buy orders. As we look over to here, the bar to build up, it's pushing all the way, all the way, all the way up to a dollar. It goes slightly above a dollar, and then it stops. All right. So it's not near $2, which is unfortunate. But I did say I was a little bit mm, unsure, and I can see some people have already started to list theirs below two dollars. So that's not looking pretty, is it? So I might consider removing my pile order potentially. We shall see. But I don't know. It's awkward. Like as time goes on, within the next twelve or so hours, will more builders appear? Will the price improve? Um, I think that's someone in my own server doing that on purpose, just to be annoying. Steve, remove them. All right. Either way. We'll see how this turns out from here and now. But will we see the likes of an Easter furnace? Will we see any more interesting furnaces being produced in the meantime? Well, I will point this out. There was an interesting collection continuation that appeared over the past weekend. So as we quickly hop back over to here, I'm sure you've probably seen the likes of my Russ Workshop skin checks. If you go over to here, we had some decent looking furnaces, but I did see the likes of this. We've got a pirate furnace with a faint blue-white interior. So... That being part of a collection that's already well established, could that potentially take away all the interest and all the attention that the Blackberry Furnace just gained? Well, it's up for discussion. You can't really see the different coloured interior that much. I will point that out. But the whole idea of like a ghost ship sort of style with the Pirate Furnace, eh, it's not bad. We shall see. So I just wanted to point that out. Blackberry Furnace, we'll see where it ends up from here and now. It has reasonable support, but it doesn't look like it's going to retain that $2 price based on the fact that we already have listings below $2. So, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. So over to here, we have the likes of the clan base garage door. Now, we have builders pushing all the way up to about $1.60 in that set. So all the way up into $1, comfortably above $1, all the way up to about $1.50, but that's it. It stops at $1.60. Now you might sit there and say, but Hedge, we've got $30 listing. Surely that's right. No, 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 no. We we'll have to wait and see. This only did about 14,000 bare minimum sales at the moment. I reckon we'll probably see another 1,000 appear over the course of the next 12 hours. 
that with what we see there it looks like it might do all right i don't expect a ton of listings it should be okay in theory but with the bar to support that we have nowhere near three dollars i don't think it'll be retaining that three dollar price but maybe you might end up seeing a whole bunch of people just simply not list it below three dollars and that did happen with the likes of the uh polished obsidian furnace that's why it's only recently gone down in price go take a look at it people were all just kind of like very weirdly collectively avoiding listing theirs below two dollars which was interesting could we see the exact same thing happening there we'll see but if you were to ask hedge should i buy some i'd just sit there and say you could just do like a two dollar twenty buy order wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if you pick that up for a cheap price like that because again hardly anyone's competing with you and then over to here with the likes of the chameleon python this is the one that did get bottled by orders 5759 don't know why this only it's a bit odd but the weird thing is the barders only went up to a dollar 33 yeah so this is a two dollar 49 skin and the part only went up to a dollar 33 that is awkward but it only did just over 10,500 sales that might still work out quite right in the future and let's just quickly remind you i don't think i brought it up but if we go back over to here just to clarify 10,600 sales bare minimum if you were to look at all the python revolvers mm, pythons we'll just say that compare the sales with the previous ones well so far, this has matched up to the Pirate Python, sold less than the Pythonana, but these, well, I mean, they, they did about half the amount of sales this did. Is the Chameleon Python special? Is it unique? Does it stand out a lot better compared to the many other Pythons we've seen in the past? Well, much like all of the other uh, Chameleon skins, it's got that very nice holographic sheen. Will that carry it? Will that keep the price up? I don't know. The support was necessary and we haven't seen it, unfortunately. So I am questioning things and I know I am the highest buy order. So it's awkward. We're still quite a ways away until the summertime. And you've only got buy orders pushing up to about halfway for the price it's currently selling for in a rust store. Again, we've got a good decent 12 hours or so until, until the potential rust store rotation. Well, technically speaking, 18 hours. But um, yeah it's not looking good for all three of the skins i'm afraid now again will more barders appear will people collectively sh uh, avoid you know listing theirs at such a low price we shall see it's not happening here for example <laughs> so um that's that i'm afraid i think you're better off just sticking with a fairly decent barder if you want to chase after any of these skins because at a higher price you probably won't be getting that much competition so back over to here as uh, we just discussed, we do have Easter skins tomorrow. It is the 21st of March. And with 130 skins potentially to pick, it, to pick from, I have fun trying to figure out which ones are likely to be accepted. Now, what I will sit here and say is I do expect an early rust rotation. We're getting the Easter uh, content being added tomorrow, as in like the, the Easter egg hunts and whatnot. And of course, the actual chicken costume is going to be enabled and put through. I would expect with a proper update, we would see an early rust store. So I reckon we'll probably see the rust store rotation happen about 6 o'clock in the afternoon or evening tomorrow, UK time. So if you know your time zone compared to the UK, uh, it's going to probably happen about 6 o'clock in the evening tomorrow. That's the expectation. Technically, it's today, but uh, it's my time zone. <laughs> so yeah, expect an early rust rotation. And like I said, whilst they might look nice and interesting and fun, don't assume Easter skins are going to be very nice uh, investments, all right? I'm sorry to say that, but it's the truth. We just looked at the Easter skins earlier from last year, and not really any of them were in the positive. And it's almost Easter time. So, yeah, will it be two weeks or will it just be one? We'll find out. And, of course, if you want to be up to date in regards to all the newer skins that have appeared over the past weekend and as of Monday, now, I'll repeat, I'm pretty sure these people were supposed to take a break. And yet we still saw 88 new skins being submitted. There's a problem. If next week we have a second week of Easter, what happens to all of these? Well, they'll probably be roll rolled over into a big, fat, massive uh, top picks list for um, April Force Wipe. But we're also going to have next week for April Force Wipe. It's going to be very awkward. Actually, no, not next week. This weekend coming up. Yeah, I know. It's awkward. Very, very awkward. So, at the very least, if you want to go watch the video where I talk about that, it's right there. Russ Workshop Skin Checks, March 19, 2024. And, uh, yeah, the link and everything is all there. All right, then. So, with that, thank you very much for watching me today. I greatly appreciate it. Hope that was nice and insightful. And, of course, with the Rustle Rotation tomorrow, you should expect those regular skins. Just go back over to here. 
these regular skins over here, this, 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 and this, they will all become marketable tomorrow when the rust all rotates. Go forth and enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the Easter update. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, just wait and see what potentially gets picked. I'm hoping for the likes of the Hammer skin, the Bone Club. Um, we'll probably see clothing and armor skins getting some decent picks because there's only 20 to pick from. And in terms of the weapons and tools, there's only like 25 skins. And the rest of it, 80 plus, are deplorables. We'll wait and see. So thank you very much for watching. Catch you later. See you goodbye.